practice set 7, problem number 1, found on page 28. Let's say that you have collected data that is normally distributed with a mean of 8 and a standard deviation of 1.5. Label the upper and lower boundary values where you would expect to find 68% of the data, 95% of the data, and 99.7% of the data. The first one has been done for you. Well, let's check those values on the first one. If we're looking for 68% of the data and the boundaries for that, we would take the mean plus one standard deviation to determine the upper boundary. The mean given in this problem is 8. The mean will always be at the center point of a bell-shaped or normally distributed set of values. The standard deviation given in this problem was 1.5. Adding those, we end up with 9.5, and that is the upper boundary for 68%. To find the lower boundary, we're going to take a mean minus 1 times the standard deviation. Going back to the mean of 8 and a standard deviation of 1.5, this time subtracting, we end up with a value of 6.5. And that is the value that was given. So 68% of the values will run between a low of 6.5 and an upper boundary of 9.5. To find 95% of the values and the boundaries for those, the formula is to take the mean plus two times the standard deviation to determine that upper boundary. So we'll plug in our mean, multiply our standard deviation given of 1.5 by 2 to determine that upper boundary. We'll multiply first. 1.5 times 2 is 3, and added gives us an upper boundary of 11. To find the lower boundary for 95% of the values, we will take the mean minus 2 times the standard deviation. The mean of 8 minus 2 times the standard deviation. Again, we'll multiply first. 8 minus 3 gives us a value of 5. 95% of the data, whatever this happens to be, will run between a low of 5 and a high of 11 95% of the time. We also could have found values since we had the 68% by adding one more standard deviation onto the upper. 9.5 plus 1.5 results in 11 for that next upper boundary for the 95% range. And likewise, two standard deviations below. This is 1. If I subtract a 1.5, the standard deviation from our lower boundary of 68%, it brings us to that second standard deviation below the mean, resulting in 5. When we are two standard deviations above and two standard deviations below the mean, it represents 95% of the values. Last 99.7% boundaries are found by taking the mean plus three times the standard deviation for the upper boundary, our mean of 8, three times the standard deviation, which is given as 1.5. We'll multiply first, resulting in 4.5, and then adding, giving us an upper boundary of 12.5 and the formula for the lower boundary is the mean minus 3 times the standard deviation. Mean of 8 minus 3 times the standard deviation of 1.5. Multiply before we subtract and with subtraction we end up with a 3.5. 99.7% of the data is going to fall between a low of 3.5 and a high value of 12.5. That's virtually all of the data should be found in this interval.